In this video, you will learn to check the battery's state of charge, SOC. To maintain and ensure the longevity of the solar batteries, remember these general conditions. Number 1. The tops of the batteries should be clean and dry. Caps should all be in place and secure. Number 2. All wiring connections should be secure. Number 3. Confirm that there are no shelves, hooks or hangers above the batteries. Number 4. Check the electrolyte level of every cell in every non-sealed battery. It should always be above the top of the plates, but below the top of the battery cases. Number 5. Ventilation systems must be functional. Number 6. Label each battery with a number for the battery and numbers for each cell. Do you know how hydrometer help in determining the state of charge? A hydrometer describes the state of charge by determining the specific gravity of the electrolyte. Specific gravity is a measurement of the density of the electrolyte compared to the density of water. Usually, the specific gravity of electrolyte is between 1.120 and 1.265. At 1.120, the battery is fully discharged. At 1.265, it is fully charged. You also need to understand the readings of the hydrometer. The scale markings on the hydrometer indicate the specific gravity of the liquid. The upper curved surface of the liquid meets the glass. It is called meniscus. So, the point where the meniscus intersects the glass, which is the bottom of the meniscus, is the correct specific gravity reading. Note that considering top of meniscus will always give you an incorrect reading. Let us observe the process to measure state of charge using a hydrometer. Here are two batteries shown off 12 volts and 100 ampere hours. We are going to measure the state of charge and specific gravity of these batteries using the hydrometer. This is a hydrometer and through this the specific gravity of each cell of the battery will be measured. First, we will open the caps of the cell. There are six cells in this battery of two volts each. Next, we will press the bulb and insert the hydrometer in the cell. You can see the hydrometer is now filled with the electrolyte. The marking reads approximately 1.25 which is indicative of good condition and means that the battery is more than 90% state of charge. Please remember, when the battery is fully charged, the value is 1.265 and for 0% state of charge, the value is 1.12. After checking the state of charge of the first cell, we will see procedure for measurement of specific gravity of the second cell of the battery. For this, first we will empty the earlier measured electrolyte in the first cell. Next, we will press the hydrometer bulb and insert the hydrometer in the second cell of the battery. On observe the mark, we can notice the specific gravity range between 1.250 to 1.260 and we can say that it is more than 90% of the state of charge. Similarly, the specific gravity can be measured for the remaining cells of the battery. Here are some important points that you should keep in mind while using a hydrometer. Number 1. To use a hydrometer, squeeze the bulb while the inlet tube is still above the electrolyte level. Lower the hydrometer into the electrolyte and gradually release the bulb to suck in the electrolyte. Number 2. 
when emptying the hydrometer slowly squeeze the bulb with the inlet just above the electrolyte level but still inside the battery cell these methods reduce the chances that electrolytes will spurt out of the battery or the hydrometer number 3 at the first cell being checked fill and drain the hydrometer with electrolyte 3 times before pulling out a sample this brings the hydrometer to the same temperature as the electrolyte number 4 take a sample of electrolyte and allow the bulb to completely expand hold the hydrometer straight up and down so the float is not touching the sides top or bottom of the tube number 5 look straight across the electrolyte level to read the float ignore the curve of electrolyte up on to the sides of the hydrometer number 6 record the specific gravity of each cell on the inspection sheet this table provides specific gravity to corresponding battery state of charge take a minute and observe the table here are the certain cautions mentioned on the battery that you should observe carefully By understanding and implementing proper battery testing procedures you can identify potential issues and take corrective actions to increase the efficiency and reliability of your solar PV system